Good morning. Happy Tuesday. What's the date? Guys, it's already like the end of September. Is it the 28th? Yeah, September 28th. I am going to film a week in my life, but I it's kind of like a documentation as well because I'm getting a colonoscopy in two days and I'm super nervous about it. Uh, it makes me feel sick thinking about it. More so the prep, I guess. And then I just don't like... Y'all know me with... Um, the whole at least it's not a surgery but just the hospital itself and being in the bed and being in the gown having the IV I don't like the IV uh, having to be rolled into the operating room or whatever it's gonna be this time and the anesthesia gives me a lot of anxiety because I've been scarred from this year honestly um, so I'm gonna be documenting my journey through this because I'm 28 years old and getting a colonoscopy and I feel like that's not normal. I know that there's people who have these a lot younger who deal with the symptoms that I've been having um, and they get diagnosed with Crohn's when they're younger or whatever, but we shall see. I still don't know if I have Crohn's yet. So with that being said, I've primarily been eating carbs, just like plain foods. So like low fiber foods because you're not supposed to eat for example, I was having my those green smoothies every day. I had to stop those because you can't have raw fruits and veggies for like the five days before. Um, and, but you can have like cooked veggies and stuff, but I am going to work today. I went to work yesterday, but then tomorrow I'm going to be staying home while I prep. Uh, I'll be in the bathroom all day basically. I'm trying to figure everything out because my dad also is having surgery like probably right now as I speak at 8 in the morning. I don't know, his, maybe he already had it, but I think it's a pretty long procedure. He's having back surgery, actually. It's, I'm really upset about it. I'm trying to figure out, because I want to go see him at the hospital, because he's in Atlanta, he's close to me. So, I don't know, because I need to start my prep tomorrow, and they say to start it at 3 o'clock, but I have, like, I asked them, like, can I start it in the morning instead, so I'm not up all night going to the bathroom, and I wanted to start it, like, as soon as possible. Um, but now, if I want to go see him, that's not really feasible so I don't know what time I'll start the prep and I don't know what time I can even go to visit him um, like what the visiting hours are so I'll have to look that up there's just a lot happening and yeah I am going to work today it's, it's been really busy at work we're like in the peak of our COVID research and I do have to I'm taking off the next three days which is nice but it's not like it's for a good thing it's not a vacation it's a fucking I'll just be shitting my guts out Ugh, I'm so nervous about it it's okay it's okay it'll be over with it'll be over with soon I'm not going to work until I don't know I'll probably leave soon I might as well I'll probably get there like before 9 30 uh we have a meeting today but then like we can't start something until a little bit later so hey y'all I am now home had a full day of work it is 4 46 and I actually have a therapy session at five o'clock so I'm gonna eat really quick do that I can't eat much so I'm trying like I can't eat I can I can eat today but I don't want to eat too late so I'm trying to decide how to break everything down um like if I should go to the gym I probably should and just get a quick workout in upper body that should be fine so I'll do that I think we'll see but let me do this therapy session it's from five to six which is like that's pretty late, but I can still go down to the gym at six. So I'll probably do that. We'll see. Look at this glow. The sun's not even over here. It's reflecting off the windows across the street. But anyways, I wanted to show this real quick. Yo, somebody definitely like opened this. So that's weird. I got my second, oh wow. Got my second bottle of Pros shampoo. I only got shampoo this time because I still have conditioner left over. And all that I changed was the smell, really. Actually, they like asked me questions to follow up to see how my hair was doing. And I, I don't know if I changed anything, but they, that's what they do. Like once you get a new bottle, they'll ask you like, oh, what needs to change? And then you can change the scent. So still the same. It says my name, cleanse and care, vegan. And then they don't send pumps unless you ask them to, but you just reuse your old ones. This company is just the best overall. It smells pretty good. What smell did I get? I don't know which one I like more. I wish they had like a 
warm scent. It smells good. It reminds me of something. That's what I'm trying to, that's why I went quiet because I was trying to think of what it smells like. It's definitely like a perfumey smell. I don't know that I love it as a shampoo. Maybe I should get, start getting a um, fruity one instead of like their jasmine, whatever. I think it's jasmine, really. It's a little too perfumey for me. Obviously, I'm going to use it, but uh, I don't like that smell as much as I like the other one. So next time, I'll get like a fruity one. But all right, I need to shower and eat my last meal of the day because it's actually a little too late, but it's okay. I'll shave it all out tomorrow when I take laxatives all day. And I need to edit my video videos, so I'm a little stressed about that, but it's okay. We're fine. Everything's fine. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. Today's the day. I'm freaking out a little bit. I just got back from Walmart, picked up enemas for tomorrow morning. You know what's crazy is that I remember going to Walmart when I was younger. I'm not that young, like, I don't know, teenage years, maybe even early 20s. And I remember seeing this in like the dollar. They have like those tubs that are like 10 for 10, or that's Kroger, but a dollar. They had like a dollar bin. And I remember seeing these images and being like, what the hell? And like laughing about them. I think I even took a picture of it. And look at me now. Look at me now. That really came to bite me in the ass, like literally. Um, anywho. Okay, it says at 3 p.m. to take two Dokalax, but um, I don't know why they have people start so late. I just don't, I really don't understand that. But I am going to start now. It's about 8 in the morning. And um, huh, I'm so scared. It says to take two. I did make sure that I can start at 8 in the morning, and they said yes. Or like I said, I asked if I could start early in the morning, and they said yes, because... Yeah, what's, what's the point of waiting until 3 o'clock? I can't eat anyway, you know? So, okay. So, let's go ahead and take these. I'm really scared about this. Oh, my God. I already feel, like, sick. It's just me overthinking. I want to cry right now. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Ugh, these tiny, tiny little pills. Like, can y'all see this? It's so little. It's not even going to focus, but they're really tiny. Like, <sighs> oh my God. This product generally produces bowel movement in six to 12 hours. Maybe I won't have to go yet. I don't know. What's the point of me taking that if I have to take a whole damn bottle of Miralax? I just don't get it. We did it. We have done it. It's barely 3 p.m. It hasn't been that bad. I have been in bed all day because I am really sleepy and honestly just feel kind of sick, probably because I've had how many grams of sugar? 110 grams of sugar, so that's disgusting. Ugh, I should have bought, they didn't have these in like the Gatorade Zero, but anyways, I feel it in my, my head. I guess it's good I got some electrolytes, um, but when I took this, this made me feel awful because it's like on an empty stomach and it was pills. I had talked to my nurse, like the nurse who works for my doctor, and she said you're supposed to take four Dokalax, like they gave me the wrong paperwork or something. I'm not taking anymore. I'm good. I am good. This made me sick. Like my stomach was cramping. Um, I felt really lightheaded. Luckily the Gatorade helped me because I can't eat food. So I was like starting to black out and I just felt really like numb and yeah, really weak. But now I feel okay. I'm glad that's over with. Look at it. I feel like my face is like red. So I've just been in bed and I've watched Grown Ups, the movie Grown Ups. I've, I'm currently watching Love, Simon. And I took naps in between, but also like every, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, I have to go to the restroom. So it's not very relaxing, but it's okay. Luckily, this was a lot easier than I anticipated. And I'm very grateful for that because I was super 
stressed out about this. Like, I was literally crying. And, um, not today. I was crying, like, yesterday and the day before. Just stressed about it. But I'm glad it's a lot going a little bit easier than I expected. So, don't recommend it. I'll probably never drink this Gatorade again in my life. But, I'm okay. It's almost 9 p.m. And I'm still going, which is like, I'm not in pain. It's a little bit uncomfortable, but I'm just, I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight is what I'm seeing because yeah, it just like, it just starts, it just goes, you know, I've been working on something. I've just been in bed seriously the whole time, but I have been like a little bit productive just now and I'm going to read, um, but just keep my door open so I can run to the bathroom because that is what's happening right now. Apparently in the morning I'm supposed to do this. I almost forgot about this. So I'll do that in the morning, but I think I'm good for now. I'm just gonna do it either way, um, but everything is pretty clear at this point. It's very clear. There's no solids whatsoever. I'm just like pissing out of my ass. So this has definitely been an experience that I really just never want to do again. And I know that um, it's something you do have to do as you get older anyway. But it just hasn't been a blast. It's not horrible, but going to the bathroom, like, I, don't, I can't tell you how many times I've sat down on the toilet. But probably over 20 at this point, maybe even 25. I don't know. So you, it's just frustrating because, like, you literally, you can't do anything, you know? I mean, I, I watched a couple movies and that's fine, so... It's just uncomfortable, but I'm gonna read, try to go to sleep eventually, and fingers crossed that I can get some sleep and stop using the restroom so much. Hi y'all, I'm filming this on my laptop, so I apologize for the horrible quality, and I'm currently editing a vlog, and I already edited this vlog that you're watching, but I want to, I wasn't gonna put this video up, just because one, it's really boring, and um, there's just not much going on in it, but in order for things to make sense in my next video, which I may just upload today as well, or this week, I don't know because I've already edited it. I, yeah, I need to upload this for things to make sense because in this new video I didn't like update on anything, so I will say, I apologize I didn't close out, I just ended up having a chill weekend after all that, and um, yeah, I just, I don't know, I just didn't pick up the camera, I didn't feel like vlogging. I was diagnosed with Crohn's, unfortunately, and if you follow me on Instagram, you already know some of this, but I did have ulcers throughout my um, colon, my intestines. A lot of it is, it doesn't matter, but I have ulcers. Uh, it was quite obvious from the photos, the inflammation, the ulcers. Um, all of this has been confirmed with the GI doctor, as well as like the pathology results. They took some biopsies from inside my intestines and... Um, yeah, I obviously it's been a couple of weeks since this has happened and you'll find out as the uh you know the next video goes up and the next couple of vlog weeks that I do you'll see my um what I'm trying to do and the things that are happening right now but I did get an answer which is good. It's not the answer I wanted to be honest and I did expect it. I knew that this would happen. I knew I had Crohn's once all the you know previous testing was happening and I was in denial about it and I'm um, honestly it's not something I've accepted yet completely and I'm still in that stage and I think it's still gonna take a while um, because it sucks you know like <laughs> something I just keep saying in my head and to people is just like I don't want this you know like it's really frustrating to be a primarily healthy person and I take care of my body. I eat right the good foods. I, you know, for the most part, obviously I don't eat 100%, but I exercise five to six times a week. I eat clean foods. I eat my vegetables, my fruits, every food group. And just to get something like this where I don't even have like control over it is extremely frustrating because it's not like I was smoking cigarettes and I got lung cancer. This is like I was living my life and I my body decided to attack my body and get Crohn's disease even though it's like nobody freaking knows where this comes from and that pisses me off even more. I'm grateful I was diagnosed at a later age, not like 12 years old or you know younger than that. Like many people have 
uh, but it doesn't make it any easier. Maybe it makes it even harder, I don't know, just because I've gone 28 years of my life with no problems, and then to have everything wrong, and it just, none of it really makes sense to me. So I'm still processing it. I am okay, but that's where I'm at right now. Um, my emotions are up and down. I am still in therapy. I have a good support system. I have a lot of treatment options at the moment, and I'll get into this more in the next video that you'll see. So I'm grateful for that, and I know that many people with Crohn's can live a normal life. Uh, most people do live a normal life, and that's what I'm aiming for. It's just getting through this rough patch of first being diagnosed and finding what's going to work for me to start feeling better because I, I haven't started treatment even of me filming this, like official medication or anything. So I still very much feel the pain. I don't feel any better. Um, so it's just a work in progress. So I apologize that this video was kind of boring. Um, my next one should be a little bit more interesting, but thank you so much for watching. And I'm just putting it up because it will make more sense with everything else. So have a good one and I will see you in my next video.